Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Venom Dragon's Flight Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Venom Dragon's Flight Boxing Gloves. I got mine in the black and gold colorway, 10 ounces. It is a Velcro closure only model. You can get this anywhere between eight and 16 ounces, as well as a black and sand and all black colorway. It's made of a synthetic leather outside casing with three layers of foam padding over the knuckle area, and the glove is manufactured in China. Now, the best way to describe this glove, uh, if you guys are familiar with the Venom Impacts, I would say those closely resemble this glove. So I would say this is kind of like a blend between the Venom Impacts um, and the Venom Elites. Um, it has a little bit more of a cushioned feel than the Impacts. And by that, I mean it feels a little bit more plush and thicker around the knuckle area, as well as the palm side padding compared to the Impacts is a little bit more thicker and robust. So. To me, this is really kind of a hybrid boxing glove. You get elements of both a traditional boxing glove as well as a tie style glove where you have more of an emphasis on padding on the palm side right there to parry all types of strikes, not just punches. So elbows, knees, and whatever else. Um, you can also see, even though this is a 10 ounce glove, um, it does have a little bit of a shorter cuff. So it def definitely works in the clinch as well if you are doing tie style. Uh, kickboxing. Now from a design standpoint, this is a 10 ounce glove, so it does have much more of a compact stature. Uh, I wanted to go with a more compact glove this time. Typically whenever I get Venoms, I usually go with like a 14 or a 16 ounce glove, but I wanted to see how it would do in terms of being more of a compact glove. So I decided to go with 10 ounces to see how these would perform. Uh, when you're looking at the design, it does have that very unique design on the back of the glove with the dragon as well as the Venom logo. You know, that's really one of those things that some people will either really like or they'll hate the way that looks. It's completely up to you, but you do have that design on the back of the glove in gold. Uh, one thing about the synthetic, it's very similar, if not the same, as the Venom Impacts. It has more of a matte-like finish uh, when it comes to the actual texture of the synthetic leather. Rotating over to the finger compartment, you can see again the rest of that design on the finger compartment with the Dragon. Coming down to the Velcro strap, you actually have the Venom that's written across on the back of the Velcro with a couple of stars. Uh, the Venom logo, or should I say the font and the lettering, is a little bit raised up and it has a nice soft touch feel. You do have that three and a half inch Velcro strap with the gold piping that goes around it. Nice grabby Velcro that goes across and you have it all the way across the back of the wrist, rotating to the palm side on the inside. You have your standard polyester nylon liner as well as a tag with 10 ounces, the Venom tag as well as where it's manufactured in China. You also have a rubberized uh, Venom tag that is stitched onto the inner piping as well. I'd say you have maybe a half inch of medium density padding on the back of the wrist and I'd say again about a half inch of padding on the inside of the wrist. And you'll notice with this glove the padding extends all the way up to the palm and it almost feels like it gets a little bit thicker on the palm side right here. So you can see that it starts off a little bit thinner and then as it comes up into the palm area, it gets a little bit thicker. So I'd say you have about an inch of padding. And again, that's really to give yourself good protection on your palms and on your hands if you're parrying strikes. So you have that, that rotates all the way over. Gold piping right there, a synthetic attached thumb, and then you have ventilated holes throughout the thumb and on top and below the grip bar. The grip bar is definitely a nice size. It's larger and it has a really nice dense feel to it. Quality wise, the gloves have held up pretty well. The only area that I really had concern with is gonna be some of the stitching. The symmetry of it's good, but you can see it's kind of coming loose there. The synthetic materials held up really well, as well as the padding. You don't see any bumps or any kind of lumps in the foam. Uh, you can see the palm side is done very nicely. I'd say that maybe just the little holes right there for the ventilation could be poked out a little bit better. Uh, the gloves were pretty much on point with the weight. I'd say they're only a half ounce overweight, so they came in at like 10.5, 10.6 ounces. Um, and for a training glove, 
That's not something you're really gonna notice when you're using them. You can see the attached thumb does a nice job of keeping the thumb uh, from pushing out and poking your opponent in the eye if you're do, to use these for sparring. Um, the glove is very, very well balanced, so you have the distribution of weight throughout the glove, and the main thing is you have a lot of padding on the palm side. Sometimes you get padding that is a little bit too soft in this midsection of the glove, and the, the glove kind of ends up flopping forward or you have too much weight to the front. And in the case with this glove, it's held up really nicely in that regard, so you have a nice streamlined feel. You can see the Velcro grabs nicely, have no issues with that. But like all Velcro, over time, the more you use these gloves, the Velcro will eventually start to lose its grip. It's just one of those natural occurrences that you see with Velcro gloves over time. Um, one thing I always recommend is being, being mindful of not having the Velcro near any other kind of um, cloth that can snag into it, and that will kind of make it, make, make it lose its grippiness over time. So just be very mindful of that. Typically it's hand wraps that will get stuck onto your Velcro when you throw it into your gym bag. Gold piping looks really clean as well and you can see the padding looks good as well as the thumb so overall everything looks pretty solid with this glove and it's held up nicely i'd say again the areas that i'm most concerned with is going to be the stitching especially on the outside edges comfort wise sliding your hand into the glove putting the velcro strap on wrist support feels really good you can definitely tell the padding right here is right in the the perfect spot it's right here at the bottom portion of my palm. So, you know, if I were to catch a shot with that, it would do a nice job of absorbing some of that shock uh, when it hits my hand. Uh, the thumb feels really good. The piping isn't too tight. Uh, the depth of the thumb is, is good as well, especially considering that this is a 10 ounce glove um, and the tip of my thumb does not jam into the very top right there. So that feels good. And you can see that it does a nice job with the attached thumb from preventing my thumb from sticking out. Uh, the finger compartment is a little bit on the narrow side. I wish it was a little bit wider. Um, my finger does do not crowd too much on each other, but I can definitely feel my fingers kind of pinching against each other, as well as there's exposed stitching for here at the bottom. So it would have been nice that if they added some kind of strip felt or neoprene to cover the stitching uh, in the finger compartment right here. The gloves are relatively uh, broken in when you first get them, so you can open and close your hand with relative ease. Um, and the liner does feel good. I don't have any kind of bunching up on the inside. So my main concern here is going to be just that finger compartment being a little bit on the narrow side. I wish they kind of, kind of, uh, widened it a little bit to give myself a little bit more breathing room. But other than that, uh, the gloves are very comfortable. Uh, the layered foam padding on here has more of a medium to firm density. So to me, this would be uh, good for hitting the heavy bag, especially if you're looking for a glove that you want something a little bit more, uh, shock absorbent. So if you want something that can really absorb the shock if you have issues with any kind of knuckle pain or whatnot this does a really good job um, if you're looking for something with a little, little bit more feedback you don't necessarily get the same level of crack and feedback that you do out of the impacts i feel like the impacts the foam consistency in there is a little bit softer and a little bit thinner um, so you feel like your punches sink in a little bit more with the impacts uh, compared to these where these to me are a little bit more on the protective and thicker cushion side uh, of, of gloves that they offer through Venom. Uh, Cost-wise, these gloves are $89. Uh, there is a variable in price with that. Sometimes Venom does have sales depending on the size and colorway you choose from. Uh, so I've seen these gloves as low as like $63, as high as like $95. So there's a couple of variables when it comes to the pricing with this particular model. Uh, but if they're all regularly priced, they're typically uh, $89. And at that price point, I still prefer the Venom Impacts over these unless you're hung up on the design of the glove and you just really want to go with that design. But to me, these are kind of in between the Impacts and the Elites in terms of the design of the glove and how they feel. Um, not a bad glove, but I personally still prefer the, the, the Venom Impacts uh, over these particular models. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys put them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Venom Dragon's Flight boxing gloves. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.